Welcome back everyone to my FIFA 20 career mode with Manchester United. It's been some time since I last said that, but finally we are back and picking up where we left off. Up next we are at Bramall Lane to take on Sheffield United, one of the newly promoted teams to the Premier League for this season. And this of course is a must win for United. It's always tricky though, playing away in the Premier League. Our form heading into this game certainly hasn't been the best you know we've uh, had quite a poor start to the season and Martial might have found a way through here he has and he's scored three minutes gone and he goes and celebrates in front of the United fans United a goal to the good night it's a brilliant finish the way Martial just feints to the left and then to the right full on the defender and he strikes that with some power beating the keeper to find the, uh, the back of the net. It's a brilliant goal. And yeah, we need to uh, we need to get back to winning ways. We need to start climbing the league table. Here is Scott McTominay going to have a shot of his own. Another tremendous shot. Keeper going to take this one then for uh, Sheffield United. It would have been Dean Henderson, but because he's on loan at uh, Sheffield United, he can't play against his parent club and here is Anthony Martial in on goal again it's two he's on for a hat-trick night and we're uh, fastly approaching the break here and Anthony Martial displaying that he can utilize both feet in this game is scored on his right scored on his left night and there's a big 45 minutes coming up Falling for Martial again. He is certainly in the mood today. Oh, that's brilliant for Martial to find Dan James. Keeper saves. Falls for James Madison. And it's going to get cleared in the end, I think. No, McTominay. Sheffield United. They have a mountain to climb here in the second half. McBurney. Osborne. McBurney again. Chris passing from Sheffield. Osborne. Finds McGoldrick. It's 2-1. They've got a goal back. And there's plenty of time to maybe go on and get an equaliser. Hopefully that won't be the case. Our defending up until this point has been pretty solid throughout this game. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. It's a bit of space for Rashford to run into. He might be able to do his man here. Martial back to Rashford. Nice little one-two. Rashford using that pace of his. Looking a bit tired at the moment. Rashford swings it in. Oh! It's 3-1, and of all people, it's Jaylings. Jesse Lingard getting the goal, getting the winning goal as well. He's pretty much wrapped up this game here. Uh, Bramall Lane, and it's a header as well. How is he beating his man there to the, uh, the header? Good three points, much needed win for Manchester United. As we now aim to start climbing up that league table once again. We've had a poor start to the season, we're about well, I think I need to look at the league table. I think we're about something like 14, 15 games in and we're 6th, 7th, 8th, hovering around there. So we need to start climbing back up that league table. This is a good place to start that. So yeah, we're, uh, we're not 14 or 15 games in. We are 13 games in and you can see we are 6th. Liverpool in 5th there, just a couple of points ahead of us. Spurs, 13 games played, 13 games won. They are absolutely boss in the league at the moment. If you remember, Spurs have been uh, a bit of a constant thorn in my side here on FIFA. If we cast our minds back to FIFA 19, they were devastating there. So up next for United, it's Thursday Night Football in the Europa League. It's our fifth game of the group and we travel to France to play Nantes, who are second at the moment. They are three points behind us. A win for them will be huge as they could maybe go on and win the group, but obviously... Uh, our form away from home has been pretty decent, not the best, but I suppose it's only been okay. If we can get a win against Nantes, then we are through to the next round of the Europa League. And we'll just wrap things up there with Scott McTominay, who is very happy at the moment, which is good to see. We're up against Nantes, away from home then in the Europa League, and here is the team. Quite a few changes. Romero is in, so is Twan Zabi and Dallo. Fred in alongside Madison and Pereira in midfield and I've gone with Martial, Rashford and Edgerstein up front. Rashford looking to uh, maybe get his name on that score sheet. Here is Andreas Pereira. It's a good, good effort. 
keeper launches that upfield and it's fallen for United and here is Marcus Rashford again Martial faints on the ball turns shoots it's a brilliant goal very reminiscent of his goal in that previous game against Sheffield United at Bramall Lane the way he faints on the ball lets it continue in its path and then he strikes it on his favourite right foot putting United a goal to the good here Fred Ooh. nice little ball over the, the top it's fallen for Edgerstein on the volley and it's brilliant from uh, Andreas Pereira in the right place at the right time it's 2-0 22 minutes in we're running away with this game and uh, hopefully those three points are wrapped up now here is Andreas Pereira already got a goal to his name in this game James Madison now looking for his first United goal Fred hits it took a deflection oh it's three for United Fred the red changing direction with the ball shifting it over to his favorite left side strikes it the defender didn't get in the way I think the keeper's saving that but because the, the defender got a huge deflection on it fought the keeper who's way off his line and it just dips so quickly and with a bit of help from the post United go three goals up here away to Nantes we've done it we've beaten Nantes away from home it's finished three goals we've picked up three points and that all but confirms our place in the next round of the UEFA Europa League a man of the match performance from Anthony Martial five attempts just the one goal I did think uh, Fred maybe deserved to walk away with this one bit playing in central midfield he did pull all the strings but there we go there is a confirmation a good professional job out there from the lads so we are heading into the busiest time of the season December and we start with that home fixture against Villa then we got Spurs again at home that'll be an interesting one up against Pochettino Spurs obviously Pochettino still at the club in this save and then we've got Man City at the Etihad in the Premier League so some big big fixtures to kick off the Christmas period and then we've got the final game in the group stage of the Europa League against AZ Alkmaar and then Everton and should be quite an easy end to the month so here we go then United against Villa always a good one this here is the team David De Gea back in between the posts for United. It's Aaron Wambasaka, Lindelof, Maguire and Ben Chilwell. The make at the back four. We've got James Mellison and Scott McTominay and Pogba in midfield with Dan James, Rashford and Martial up top. Maguire. Whew, that was a powerful pass to, to Paul Pogba then. Fred through the middle here for Anthony Martial. He's done it again. Can he? Yes, he can. My word, he just cannot stop scoring those type of goals at the moment, can he? The Frenchman, Anthony Martial, he sucks the defender in, falls them, changes direction, gets round his man, pulls the trigger and puts United in the lead. Deadly as ever, pulling out all the stops is Anthony Martial. May this form continue, because we desperately need it at the moment. Maguire to Fred, who was decent in mid-week on the, uh, the Thursday night football I should say McTominay through the middle for Anthony Martial and it's two he's just been brilliant so far Martial what a goal all came from the pass from Fred who just carve open Aston Villa's back four and Anthony Martial cool, calm, collected everything you can think of another job well done for Manchester United back once again in front of their home fans they've put in a decent performance here they've walked away with all three points with the final result being United 2 Aston Villa 0 there was just little to no offence from Villa as they came here looking to uh, to get a decent result maybe a draw or anything from this game but they just couldn't handle us so there is a lead table we are starting to uh well, we're still sixth at the moment, but we are starting to close that gap. We're now just a point behind West Ham, who are fifth. Liverpool, they've climbed the table after the weekend's result. They are up to fourth, and we're still three points behind them. But we are a massive, massive 15 points behind the league leaders, Spurs, who are 
well, still unbeaten. 14 games gone now, 14 games won. They look unstoppable and we've got to play them next. So this is kind of interesting. Chelsea have just beaten Spurs, who are currently unbeaten in the Premier League. Obviously, league form didn't cross over into the Carabao Cup. So they are out. They've taken a bit of a hit. Maybe that will uh, work for us in our next game, which of course is in the Premier League. As you can see in the Carabao Cup semi-finals then, it's City and Chelsea and Liverpool are Reading. That'd be interesting. Well then, I've been looking forward to this one. United are set to take on the league leaders Spurs, who are currently unbeaten, up next in the Premier League. This should be quite the uh, the battle. Old Trafford awaits then for the next 90 minutes of Premier League action. What a main event, United against Spurs. Can we right the wrongs of FIFA 19? Every time we played Spurs, they beat us on FIFA 19. If you can cast your minds back, it seems like such a long time ago now. And you can see that at the moment, Spurs, they are the top scoring team. They've managed to bag 39 goals so far. They are looking like potential champions with players such as Son in their team. And it looks like they bought well as well in the summer, bringing in Andrea Bellotti from Serie A. He will start today alongside Son as there is no sign whatsoever of Harry Kane. Don't think he's even started on the bench for all we know. But for Manchester United in good form heading into this one. We've won our last couple of games home and away in the Premier League. Doing well in the Europa League as well. So hopefully we can take those performances and apply it to this game here today. And we desperately need it. We can beat Spurs be the first team to beat them this season so far and start to uh, to close that gap on the top it'd be brilliant and there is the team it's a midfield three of McTominay, Madison and Pogba was thinking about bringing Fred in because he's performed well lately but McTominay overall so far this season has just edged it and here is Tottenham's full 11 Lo Celso, Christian Eriksen still in the team so we start this save before he made the move and real life to Inter Milan McTominay then to James Madison, who's looking to stamp his authority on this game today for United. Madison now through for Martial. Tees it up nicely for Paul Pogba. Strikes it first time. It is international teammate Lloris who's in goal. Wamba Saka has to go back to come forwards. McTominay through for Martial. It's Martial and Pogba linking up once again. Pogba getting closer and closer with each shot he takes. And Lloris just keeps on denying him. Still nil-nil here at Old Trafford. Christian Eriksen. Here is Robertson. Quite a strange transfer that. Andy Robertson from Liverpool to Spurs. We might be in here. Anthony Martial peels away from the defender. Martial one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And it's straight at Hugo Lloris yet again. And the chance goes missing. Rashford stretching those legs here down the left channel. Oh, and he goes down. It's a crunching tackle from Foyth. One Foyth with the challenge on Marcus Rashford. 26 minutes in, he goes straight into the referee's book. He's going to have to be careful now. Being a full back for, uh, for Spurs in this game, having to deal with the pacey Rashford. And you can see it's like Rashford just baited him into uh, to that challenge. Pogba. With a bit of space here. Going unchallenged. Pogba through for Rashford. Looking for Martial. Desperation from Sanchez. Rashford once again. Getting past his man. Look at all this space opening up. And Rashford hits it. Lloris down to it quickly. And yet this game is still all level. Through the middle for Christian Eriksen. Spurs dominating the second half so far. Christian Eriksen again. Getting closed down. It's a good ball into the box. Harry Maguire fails to clear it. And for a second I thought Bellotti had found the back of the net. No Celsa for Spurs. Gaia swings it in. Wamba Saka forced to head it away. And David Ayer almost beaten. Certainly been a game of two halves here. But United have grown into the second half. 
Here is Mason Greenwood. McTominay over the top for Paul Pogba. He's in. And again, Lloris denies him. Son. Bellotti. That's a good block from Chilwell. United have done really well to keep the top goal scorers quiet in this game. Almost at full time. Ericsson swings it in. And De Gea catches it. Bit of space opening up here for Dan James. The pacey Dan James is in the box here. Dan James goes down. And it's a penalty. The referee points to the spot. And it's Andy Robertson with the challenge. You just cannot make this up. Former Liverpool player. Concedes the penalty. What a moment. What a chance now for United to nick all three points from this game. To be the only team so far this season to beat Spurs. And it's Paul Pogba who's been denied by Lloris throughout the whole of this game. Can he beat him now from the spot with moments to go of this game? Paul Pogba facing the Stretford ends. Makes it 1-0. Come on. If there was ever a time to see that GIF with Mourinho shushing with Pochettino in the background, it's now. Fantastic. The league leaders, the unbeaten league leader Spurs have been beaten there's no chance for them to get back into this game now surely there we go we've done it Manchester United the first team this season so far to beat Tottenham something I failed to say in uh, my FIFA 19 series but there we go there's the floating ball but we have beaten Spurs what a fantastic feeling what a great win much needed win as well hopefully a sign of things to come. So there is the lead table then to just finish this episode off. We are up now to fifth. We've overtaken West Ham who lost on the weekend. 15 games gone. We're not even halfway there. We've only lost one game so far this season which is pretty decent but we drew a lot also which we could have done without. But there we go. We're up to fifth. We're looking good. We're in good form. We've got Martial banging in the goals. And to kick off the next episode, we've got the Manchester Derby. You guys do not want to miss it. But for now, that's it for this one. Hope you guys have enjoyed. See you all soon. Thanks for watching.